Have you ever had a friend whom you considered very rational, logical, a free thinker, a true free thinker, tries to look at as many sides to any issue uh, as they can, and they've never been really religious, uh, they're either agnostic or atheist or uh, an igtheist or a pantheist or something on that order. Have you ever watched someone like that convert to an oppressive Abrahamic religion? Where you start to see little, little bit by bit uh, starting to repeat the standard dogma from that religion. And then just about any discussion you're having, if it has to do with politics, they have to insert their religion into it somewhere. It always has to be there because now it's such a big, important part of their life. They live their religion. And then you eventually start watching them uh, basically sort of create safe spaces for themselves as uh, they don't want that many more interactions uh, with people who don't think the same way anymore. This is either by just disassociating with people or being a hermit or whatever. You know, a little bit cult-like behavior, because that's kind of, I mean, cults do this thing of you, you shouldn't talk to anyone that's not part of this cult kind of thing. You know, you've, you've watched them drink the Kool-Aid of, of religion, of a particular religion. There's nothing you can do about it. If you debate with them and you stick to your guns, well, you then now you're being mean. Why did you change over to being so mean? As you watch them judge themselves and other people on a set of dogma, but you can't, even if you tell them that, you're being mean. You just kind of got to force this little smile and swallow that puke that's accumulated in the back of your mouth and... Yep, mm-hmm, uh-huh, yeah, affirmative, mm-hmm, yes. Just kind of do what you can to to trudge along the friendship so at least, you know, if they ever get out of that mode, you can just kind of be like, oh, I'm so glad you're out of that now, if they ever do get out of it. But right now I have a friend who matches the description I gave of someone earlier, you know, they're intelligent, uh, uh, they're rational and logical and all of that. Great debater. And you watch them convert to feminism and social justice warriorism. And there's nothing you can do. And you watch them repeat this almost memorized dogma using the same words as everyone else, changing language to match your narrative because, you know, social uh, sociology, gender studies uh, state that it's cool to, to modify uh, the meanings of words without it really being anywhere except in the uh, propaganda material that they link to. You know, forget the forget the historical colloquial and dictionary definitions. So that's, that's, you know. And you watch them judge themselves and other people based off of the dogma. And then you start to see them kind of want more and more of their safe space where they can say their religion, their religious views without it being uh, chastised too badly and they can get all these people you know smiling and giving thumbs up for everything they say no no get no argument oh well said beautiful all right amen hallelujah you know 
and there's nothing you can do. Same thing with the rest of the religious people. If you if you if you stick to your guns in a debate, you're being mean, and why are you being so mean to me? Every every discussion about politics turns into first it turns into trans issues, and then it turns into uh, looking at everything through the feminist or social justice warriorist lens. And you know, there's nothing you can do. Helpless. You're helpless to get them out of the mode. They don't want to get out of the mode. They see nothing wrong with the mode as they continue to demonize more people, more demographics, and become more cult-like. And there's nothing you can do. Just sit there and smile and yes, affirmative, uh-huh, yes, uh-huh, yep, for sure. <laughs>